Hey guys, Joe Same here, along with my sidekick, Frankensleeve, coming at you with another protein bar review. And this time it's going to be over the Premier Protein Bars. I bought this variety pack from Sam's Club, and it had three different types of protein bars in it. Uh, the flavors were a yogurt pecan crunch, double chocolate chunk, and chocolate peanut butter. Uh, I've been eating these for the past couple of years on and off, but since I've discovered the Quest bars and Oh Yeah Victory bars, I have switched over to those. But uh, but the Premier Protein bars are very good. The only difference uh, the only difference in my mind is that they use sugar in their bars. They don't use artificial sweeteners or like the Quest bars and Oh Yeah bars. They use a man-made they call it prebiotic fiber, which is supposed to be a sweetener that's made from uh, from vegetables, I believe. So it's not really considered an artificial sweetener, like aspartame or Splenda or NutraSweet or, or any of those ones. So yeah, I just want to give you a little bit of taste test review of these three, because they do taste pretty good. Uh, and just wanted to pass it along. Now, let me figure out where I laid them. <laughs> I got my stuff all strode out here. I'm in a different office tonight testing out different things. I'm testing out a new lighting system. Uh, this time, instead of recording on my phone, I'm recording on my on an iPad to see how that's going to work out. And at the same time, I'm, re I'm recording the sound on my uh, smartphone. Because normally I'd be using my smartphone to record the video and audio in here. But the lighting conditions aren't very con conducive to recording on a smartphone. At least, not my smartphone. <laughs> Mine's a couple years old. I wish I had a Galaxy X S5 or S6, but they're about 500 bucks out of my price range. So, yeah, uh, let me get this one there, the Yogurt Peanut Crunch. Let's see if I can get that in there without too much glare. And the other one, the Double Chocolate Crunch. I'll get him on there without too much glare. Now, I like that position better. And the final one, Chocolate Peanut Butter. If you'll notice, they all have something in common. They are all 30 grams of protein. Uh, these bars are going to be um, have more calories in general because they are a bigger bar than some of the other protein bars. But uh, in general, they are, you you no matter. It seems to me that no matter which bar I choose, they are, they're all about three calories per gram in general. So the bigger bars are going to be more calories, but that only because they're heavier because you get more as opposed to like a, a bar that is 20 grams of protein versus a bar that's like this bigger one, 30 grams. So let's see here. Uh, I believe all these are over 200 calories per bar because they are so big. Yeah. The uh, chocolate peanut butter is 290 calories. The yogurt's 290. And the double chocolate crunch is coming in at 280. So it's the lowest calorie of the bunch. Uh, when I was first eating these in my first year post-surgery, I was only eating like half a bar as a snack. I wasn't, eating, wasn't able to eat the whole bar because my, my franken sleeve was still kind of swollen and small. These relaxed a bit since then, so I can usually eat one of these as a meal. So let's start off with the uh, chocolate peanut butter. Make sure I got my little materials here because... It's hard to memorize all this stuff. So the chocolate peanut butter comes in at 290 calories. Calories of fat are 70 calories. And let's see, that's the fat grams is 8 grams. So if you want to translate the fat calories into grams, it's 8 grams of fat. So uh, total carbohydrates is 25 grams. The dietary fiber, which is the part you're not supposed to be able to digest, is 3 grams. And the sugars come in at 8 grams. Now, if you've added that up, 8 and 3 is 11, and they're telling you a total of 25 grams of carbohydrates, so there's a missing 14 grams of carbohydrates somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure why they don't have to tell you where those missing grams of carbohydrates come from. I've tried researching it on, on Google and never have come up with a satisfactory answer to that. And once at the very end here, uh, 30 grams of protein. So, that is 
the details for that one. Let me see if I can open this sucker up. Hopefully it won't be too loud and crinkly. Uh, one thing about these bars, unlike Oh Yeah and Quest, these are very, uh, they're hard bars. They don't, they don't, they aren't as bendable and flexible. They aren't as soft. That's what I'm trying to say. They're not as soft as Oh Yeah and Quest bars. And if, if you haven't noticed, these things are all hovering around the use of peanuts and chocolate as their main ingredients. That's why I, I really like the Quest bars because they come in fruit flavors. So give this one a try. I have not eaten one of these in probably a year and a half, and I've forgotten what they tasted like, but I used to eat them all the time, so I know they're good. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Usually it's, uh, it does not stick to the package. It's been in my backpack just like I carried around the Quest bars and Oh Yeah bars. And those softened enough, uh, up enough to stick to the packaging. These do, did not stick at all, and they've been in my backpack for about two days. If you like bars with a bit of bite to them, it's a little bit tough to bite into, which I do like that. Makes me feel like I'm eating something solid. It does have a nice, strong peanut butter flavor to it. The chocolate's kind of like milk chocolate, kind of like dark chocolate. It's kind of in between. Let's see if I can get, you, get him on the camera here. You can see the uh, internal of the bar, the texture and stuff. It's pretty much like dry, dry peanut butter. It's a little bit, got a little bit of moisture in it, but for the most part, it's pretty dry. It's okay tasting. It's not great tasting. It's okay tasting. So no bitter aftertaste and a nice peanut butter flavor to it. And let's see what we got up next here. Double chocolate crunch. This thing, if I remember right, has little crispy things in it. So if you like Rice Krispies, these, this might be a bar for you. Uh, just want to do my little disclaimer. I'm not really a big chocolate and peanut butter kind of guy. So what you're you're seeing or hearing is just my taste, my taste towards protein bars. Yours may be different. I hope yours are different. So, see, double chocolate crunch. This one's coming in at the, the lowest calorie count, 280 calories. Uh, total fat calories is 60. Total fat is 6 grams. Your total carbohydrates is 26 grams. Dietary fiber is 3 grams. And sugars, once again, come in at 10 grams. So we got 13 grams that are listed on here, broken down by fiber and sugar. So you still have another missing 13 grams of sugar. Or 13 grams of I should say 13 grams of carbohydrates. I don't know where those things have disappeared to, why they don't have to tell you where they are, and, and, uh, and what is the source of those carbohydrates. And the protein is 30 grams. So, if you like a bar, if you like buying a variety of bars, you don't have to really worry about the calorie, worry about the varying calorie count, or pretty much anything else, differentiating the bars, or you don't, you know, tracking your calories, your fat, and your carbohydrates. You can go with all three of these bars and not to worry about them because you can assume they're all pretty much the same. Now, let's see, double chocolate crunch. Make sure I got it right, double chocolate, yeah, double chocolate crunch. My memory is horrible. So I keep having to read the label again and again to make sure I know what I'm saying because I've caught myself making mistakes on camera and it's like, huh, I'm, I'm getting better though. This one, the, the bite is the same as the first bar. It's kind of a, a good, dense bite to it. You can look at the inside of it. Oh, the heavy, oh sorry, <laughs> the heavy layer of chocolate. The inside tastes like chocolate. Kind of like a brownie on the inside. A light, kind of milk chocolatey flavor. Well, not exactly milk chocolatey on the outside, but it's nice and thick. Nice thick coating. Kind of chewy. I like that. But there's no real texture inside of it. It's just that it's all just uh, the same the same uh, feeling for mouthfeel. And let's say we go in for the last one here. Yogurt peanut crunch. Kind of reminds me of South Park. Raspberry mint. <laughs> 
So did I hear the yogurt peanut crunch? Make sure I got my little my little data sheets right here. So this one comes in again, like the uh, the very first one. It's got 290 calories. Calories from fat are 70. So that's eight grams. They're listing eight grams of fat. Total carbohydrates coming at 25. Dietary fiber is three grams, and the sugars are coming in at nine grams. So you have 12 grams of carbohydrates are listing there. So you still have another 13 grams of missing carbohydrates. So wish I knew where they were coming from. <laughs> and protein once again comes in at 30 grams. So it's these are very high protein bars. And let's get this one open. Yogurt peanut crunch. I'm hoping it's the best of the bunch. Like I said, it's been over a year since I've eaten these. And I thought I remembered how good they tasted, but since I've gotten used to the OEI bars and Quest bars, these don't taste as good for some reason. So you see, this one is white like yogurt on the outside of it. It's dry, dry looking. It's not sticking to the package at all. Give it a shot. This one's a little bit softer. It's got a nice vanilla flavor to it. The vanilla hits me first, and I taste the peanut butter. So this one has a, I would think, a nicer peanut butter flavor than the chocolate peanut butter. Compared to the two, I like this one better because of the, of the either you call it vanilla or you might call it white chocolate flavor. Yeah. It's a little bit softer to chew. I like it. Yep, so that's my free bites. I'm gonna put these away because I gotta do more taste test reviews. I got another dozen bars to look through. So yeah. Uh, those are pretty good bars. They're not as good as Quist, they're not as good as oh yeah, in my opinion. But everybody's taste is different. You might want to try them out. I found these at Sam's Club. They were about $18 for a box of I want to say 12. So they're not very expensive. They're easy to get a hold of. You don't have to like, oh yeah, I have to go online for them because there's no one locally I can buy them from. And Quest Bars are about $2.50 a piece locally. You can't buy them by the box. And I have to go online to just be able to get them for uh, just at $2 a, a bar. So in my opinion, the Quest and Oh Yeah Bars are worth the extra money you got to pay for them or the extra hassle. Oh Yeah Bars I can get for usually uh, two boxes for the price of one. So they're like a buck and a quarter a piece after shipping. So, yeah, you can find better prices than that on the, on the line. Go for it. I like ordering stuff online. Amazon Prime, that's the way to go. So, this is Joe Saint and my sidekick, Frankensleeve, signing out from VSG Land. Keep pimping that sleeve. <laughs>